My name is Karthik Pauli. I'm in sixth grade and I attend Hillside Junior High in Boise, Idaho. Being green means to be aware of the environment. Our generation consumes much more resources than all the past generations. That is why building nature preserves like this one in Boise is essential in preserving the natural ecosystem. Ansel Adams took wonderful pictures that continue to inspire all of us. I would trade places with him because of the immense sense of adventure he had and how his pictures were instrumental in the formation of many parks and nature preserves. If someone gave me a free ticket to go anywhere, I would go to Alaska. I'm particularly eager to see the northern lights and I'm also uh, eager to see the unique diversity of wildlife such as grizzly bears and the mass migration of caribou that happens once a year. We all know that volcanoes can sometimes contain a lake inside their craters. Did you know that there exists a crater lake that in turn has another volcanic protrusion inside it which encloses another crater lake? In essence, this is a crater lake inside another crater lake. Tell me where this lake is and what the name of the lake is. Did I stump you? The, this lake is Lake Tal in Luzon Island of the Philippines. If I was in charge of Earth for one single day, and assuming that I had the power and authority to do whatever I wish, I would remove all national boundaries in order to make planet Earth one contiguous entity that it is. I live in the beautiful city of Boise. Boise is a city that is bestowed with many natural attractions. Just a few weeks ago, I witnessed a mass migration of snowbees. There were so many snowbees, they blotted the sky out. I witnessed this migration in the tiny city of Parma, which is a few minutes from my home. Another beautiful scenic attraction a few minutes from Boise is the Camus Centennial Marsh. Nestled in the foot of the mountains near Sun Valley, the, this marsh is a home for the rare Camus wildflower, which blooms only once a year in spring. While these flowers bloom, they attract a wide range of wildlife from the shy American Abyssin to the raucous yellow-headed black